The Kemper drive should always be positioned in front of the stack on modules A, B, C or D. Press the button of the corresponding module until the effect menu appears in the display. Next, turn the browse knob until the effect selection menu is displayed. You select the category distortion, followed by Kemper drive. And in the right column, you can either select one of the presets or use the default settings as a start to adjust your overdrive sound. Of course, you can also do this via the rig manager. Select a rig by double clicking on it. The headphone symbol appears to the left of it and you can then play this rig via the connected profiler. To hear the tonal changes through the Kemper drive, I loaded an undistorted amp profile. To load the Kemper drive, you can click on the desired effect module and click on the square on the left. Now the selection of effect categories appears. You go to Distortion and then Kemper Drive. Now all the presets are displayed and at the top you can load Type and Defaults. The Kemper Drive is an overdrive effect with additional parameters that can be used to create a wide range of typical overdrive sounds based on classic overdrive pedals. Instead of offering several individual emulations of famous overdrive pedals, each with a limited sonic character according to the original, the Kemper Drive is a single overdrive effect that can reproduce all the timbres of certain originals, as well as many timbres in between. If you're looking for the sounds of the classics, first test the presets. The names tell you which original overdrive pedals were available as models. Load one of the presets and then adjust the drive and tone controls to your taste.
course, you can also create your own sounds with the Kemper Drive. It makes sense to start with a neutral basic setting, and the default settings are the best choice. <laughs> There are six parameters to choose from for the Kemper Drive. Drive, tone and volume are standard for overdrive pedals and control the amount of distortion, the timbre and the overall volume. With definition and slim down you can change the basic character of the overdrive sound and with the mix control you can add the effect to the direct signal. You can hear how the sound changes with the individual controls in the following examples. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Of course, you can also place the Kemper drive in front of a distorted amp profile. There are several ways to adjust the Kemper drive. If you're driving a distorted amp profile and want to boost the sound, you should use the drive control a little more sparingly and set the volume control on the Kemper drive a little higher to drive the amp profile hotter. You can also take the complete opposite approach and reduce the distortion level with a low drive and volume setting on the Kemper drive in a high gain amp profile by activating the Kemper drive. Here are two examples. What applies to a distorted amp of course also works with a second overdrive. You can combine the Kemper drive with other overdrive or fuzz effects. As a rule of thumb, the overdrive with the lowest gain should be at the beginning of the signal chain. When you have adjusted the sound of the Kemper drive and want to save this setting, press the store button on the profiler while the edit menu of the Kemper drive is visible in the display. The profiler will now ask you if you want to save the effect module or the complete rig. 
press soft button 1 because you only want to save the effect module. Now you can give the preset a name and press store again. And the preset is saved as an effect preset for the Kemper drive in the profiler and now appears in the preset list when you turn the browse control. In Rig Manager, the preset also appears in the profiler's preset list.